It is the Coaster Battleman here bringing you an awesome video. I'm just talking about my thoughts on these attractions coming to these Cedar Fair parks. And overall, I think some of these attractions are actually pretty good overall. But I'm going to start off with the big new roller coasters that are coming for 2017. And then I'll go into the rest of the attractions for the parks that aren't getting any new roller coasters. And let's get started. California's Great America is up first, and it's nice that they're getting a new roller coaster. Not a new coaster, but a partially a new coaster. They're getting, they're renovating their stand-up coaster Vortex and turning it into a floorless coaster called Patriot. It'll have the same layout as their stand-up coaster Vortex, except it'll have new trains overall. And I think this will be a nice fit for their lineup overall. Even though the stand-up coaster was the better fit, I feel like this is this is what California's Great America needed to do to make... I feel like California's Great America made their park a lot better with this flawless coaster. I feel like they now have four pretty good coasters now. Patriot, Demon, Gold Striker, and Flight Deck are their four best roller coasters, so they basically have a fantastic four. Now moving on to Kings Island... They're getting Mystic Timbers. We already know this is happening. And they're also getting Winterfest for 2017. GCI is making Mystic Timbers. Overall, this is an amazing addition for Kings Island. And I'm really excited for this to come and see what people think about this ride. And let's move on to Knott's Berry Farm. And they're getting a Silk City Water Park expansion. They're getting... The Wedge, which is some mammoth-sized tube slide, and they're also getting a Tropical Plunge-style slide complex with trapdoor slides and tube slides. I think this is going to be a pretty nice addition. Overall, I think this is going to be a great fit for Knott's Water Park, and I'm really happy that Knott's Berry Farm is getting a water park expansion after their new, partially new roller coaster, Ghost Rider the new Ghost Rider, the GCI Retract version. And moving on to Carowinds, they're actually kind of going all out in my opinion. They're getting new rides in 2017. They're getting four new rides for a county fair. They're getting one of those Mondial top scans. They're getting a Hus Troika and two other attractions that are also pretty good attractions. They're getting a swing ride and then one of those uh, they're getting um, one of those rock and roller style attractions. These are all the attractions that they're going to get here. And they're also getting some new food options. And they're renaming the Carolina Cobra the Flying Cobras. It's definitely getting... It's not, it now has some new theming and a new, game, new name. I think overall this is a nice fit for Carowinds. And for Cedar Point... I wish they could have RMC Mean Street for 2017, but it might happen. But this is what's coming. The Cedar Point Shores Water Park is what they're going to do for 2017. They're adding a tropical plunge style slide complex like the one at Kings Island. There's going to be some good new attractions. There's going to be a smaller little kid slide complex for the younger ones. There's going to be some new food options. And overall, I think over that Cedar Point is going all out with their water park. But they're not getting just that. They're expanding the Hotel Breakers, even though it was renovated. They're also getting Cedar Point's Express Hotel. Seems like a pretty cool expansion. And Sports Force Parks at Cedar Point's Sports Center. The all-new Cedar Point Sports Center opens in 2017. And it seems like a pretty cool place. It's definitely something pretty cool. Um, I think youth sports tournaments will be playing here. There are baseball stadiums, soccer arenas. I think this will be a nice fit. And overall, I think this will be a nice fit for the outside part of Cedar Point. 
And let's move on to the next park, Valley Fair. And they're getting a Skyscreamer style ride. I think this is a nice option for Valley Fair. They're getting a new thrill ride. And it's something pretty thrilling. I, I wish they got a new roller coaster or the major steel coaster of this year. But, but we still have a chance with King's Dominion, Canada's Wonderland, and Michigan's Adventure. But overall, I think this new swing ride, North Star will be a nice fit and definitely one of the best rides overall there. And Dorney Park is getting some new rides. They're going to add bumper cars. They used to have a bumper car style ride, but they're returning. They're also getting a Haas Troika called Kaleidoscope, Parkside Pavilion, Cirque Imagine, some show I think, Cabanas, Sunset Beach Bar and Wild Water Kingdom. So they're basically expanding a lot of parts of the park and they're doing smaller additions, but there's tons of them that makes it a pretty good addition for Dorney Park. But I think 2018 will be the year Dorney Park gets the next coaster. But moving on to Worlds of Fun and Oceans of Fun, I think overall, I think they got an okay addition and we knew this was going to happen. They're getting Falcon's Flight, Mustang Runner, and Worlds of Fun Winterfest. So, so, so overall, I think these are some pretty good rides. I really like these Hus Troikas. They're fun family rides, and the Hus Condors are very fun family rides. So, overall, I think so far of these parks, I think that this is overall what it should be. There should be a wooden coaster plus a stand-up coaster renovation or coaster renovation. Carowinds is repainting one of their roller coasters. But I think with King's Dominion, Canada's Wonderland, and Michigan's Adventure, Michigan's Adventure is probably not going to get anything new. But I think King's Dominion will get a brand new coaster in 2017. I hope they do because they haven't gotten one since Intimidator 305. But as for Canada's Wonderland, I, it would be nice if they got a new steel coaster instead of King's Dominion. But it would be nice if they could get a gaming-style dark ride, which everyone is saying that will happen. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.